everyone, welcome to Mountain Kitchen. Today we are going to be making atama, atama soup. It's a delicacy for Calabar um, Cross River State. My name is Ijoma, I'm your host, and with me doing the cooking today is a special chef and a friend, Madam Blessing. Chef Blessing, you're welcome to the show. Welcome. Okay, so we watch her tell us all about the process and show us how to cook it. So, Ma, do you want to? Talk us through it. Yeah. Hello everyone. This is Atama. Already mm -hmm. dried. Yeah. Atama. We, we slice it and allow it to dry. After drying, you pound it before cooking it. But even in the market, it's so like this. Does it have an English name? No, that's a native name. The Atama. Yeah. Okay. And this is Banga. We use it to make that time. After cooking the banga, you pound it in the water and squeeze out the the the, the canal and the shells, everything. Then you use the water to cook it. And this is water leaf. We use it to cook after slice. But we have two types. You can use you can use you can use it as you you may not use your water leaf to cook. When you are not using water leaf to cook, you use this, sorry. In the absence of water leaf, you use this. You can combine water leaf with this. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you don't have banga, you use water leaf. But now we are going to use banga to cook. So uh, water leaf will not be included. And this is dry mud fish. We use it to cook. This soup for taste, and this is for fish. And we all already have our meat that is seasoned, and it was boiled with stock fish inside. And inside this pot, we have maggi, salt, and onions. And so that's already cooked meat. Yeah, and so it's stock tender fish. already. Yeah. So you cook it to the way you want it. Yes. Yeah. All right, so this is perinco. Okay, it cannot be added to this soup because of this banana. Oh, okay. But when you are using water leaf, you use it to cook. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So this. All is right, we're back with making the atama soup. Remember, we showed you the ingredients. So this is a palm frond. We boiled it. So when it was tender, then put it in a mortar. You can see it there in the mortar. And then we pounded it. Yeah, just like what she's doing. So we're trying to process the palm front. Is it cold or hot water? You can use cold. Okay, so we're adding cold water. Trying to get the, the juice from it. From it yeah. Then use your hands to squeeze it. Okay, so is that done? Yes. So that's it for yeah, trying to get the water into the stock. Okay, so now that's the stock. The stock is um, the meat and the stock fish. Yeah. So we are going Spice. to it into the stock. Yeah. This 
is the cow cow skin cow skin or oh, for more and this is a okay so we're back we've cooked the for about we put the atama no there's the, the we put the ready banga banga juice on it and boil for 10 minutes okay then we add our our, our fish and our momo and we are going to add the atama to this wait before how do we process the atama you process because it. i know i know that sometimes you buy the dry atama from yeah. the market yeah. you can also buy the fresh one from yes. the market so how is this particular one processed this one I from want. the beginning where you get it from the farm just tell okay. us like from the farm when you get it to cut it and slice it very tender after that if you want to cook it with water leaf you will not pound it then if you are cooking it with banga you pound it to this level so that it will tick the soup okay that's the reason why i pound it to this level okay yes we are going to put it and you watch how so this is a traditional way, way of, of cooking, cooking it, it. Yeah, that's yes. what we want to learn yeah, that's the traditional way of cooking it so that's the atama leaves yes. you're putting inside already it. pounded already pounded atama leaves yeah. And when you are cooking with banga, you don't need anything to add like jaw or bush mango or even okra. Nothing. Because it will thicken by itself. Okay. Yes. You can see how it's looking. Yeah. Very fine. Mm -hmm. Because of the banga juice that we use. I've not added my maggi, but you can see. Very tasty. Mommy tasty. Because there was already the they stock was spiced. Yes. Mm. Mm. I've not added my I'm going to add my pepper to it. Okay. Mm. This is the best soup from for Calabarians and Aquaibo mines. Also. You can see how it looks. Mm. Easy to cook and very delicious. Wow, so this is the almighty Atama yes. soup. Yes, this wow. is the traditional way of cooking it. Yeah, we have two way. types. Yeah. You can use water leaf to cook, but in our ancient time, this is the traditional way. Yeah, this is traditional way. Yeah. Okay. Well done. Well okay. done. So now that we've put the Atama, yeah. we'll cover it yeah. and cook it for how long? You can cook it for 10 minutes okay. or 15 minutes, depending on the flame. How how the flame is whether okay. the, if the flame is high five minutes to bring it down if it's not high keep it for 15 minutes or this soup is ready as i talk to you okay so let's cook, cover it and yeah. boil it so that the, the taste will come out yeah. so we're going to cook it for about 10 minutes and then we'll be right back right a tamasu <laughs> and it's ready okay so this is all my tamasu do you want to stay it let's see yes. what it's like, so like you see how it looks like yeah very delicious. <laughs> can see how it looks like. Mm -hmm. Very thick. Mm -hmm. Without obono and without okra. You want to quickly summarize how we yeah. cooked it for us? Yes. What's in Jamadan? Okay. This is the traditional way of cooking atama. Mm -hmm. When you want to cook this atama soup, the traditional way of cooking it at, as the Calabarians do. First, you steam your meat, your stock fish in a, in a pot. Then you you can, you cook the banga because we have already told you that this is the traditional way. So you cook banga to a tender uh, level and pound it and remove the juice of the banga to cook the soup. So at the process of cooking, if you squeeze the juice from the banga, you pour it on your already made stock fish of meat and a stock fish. You put it there and add your fish, dry fish, add your crayfish, add your pomoda the standard and cover it for a while. As it boils, you add your atama leaf on it. You don't add oil to it because the, the, the banga itself has oil. You add pepper to it and stir it 
and test it first because the atama brings text to the soup. So you test it first before you add maggi onto it. After testing, if the test did not come out properly, you can add little maggi to it and allow it to boil for 10 minutes. Okay. Then the soup is ready to serve. Wow, well done. Atama is actually one of my favorite. My mom used to cook it. And, and it's the best. You can see how it looks like yeah. very fine, and it's easy. It's to easy make to cook. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Thank you so much for teaching us how to make atama soup. Yes. It's always a pleasure having you on the show. Thank you so much for teaching us, and thank you, audience, for always stopping by at Mama Tongue to learn more and more delicacies. So now we we'll call it a day, but we would show you how it is served. You know, you can serve it with gari, fufu, semo, wheat, plantain flour, pounded yam, you know. Whatever type of swallow that you really want to eat it with, you go. And amala as well. Yeah. I mean, it'd be nice to combine amala and yes. a yes. soup. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's it for tamo soup. It's a lovely delicacy. Thank you so much for teaching us. You're welcome. We Thank appreciate you. and we will look forward to having you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you. Okay, so this is the Editan soup served with gari or popularly known as eba. So Editan soup served with gari. So that's what it looks like. It's ready to eat. Really yum. Really yum and ready to eat. So thank you for watching. Mama Tongue will be happy to have you visit in the soonest um, time interval.